All right, let's get back to this. Um, right when I finished the last one, the last video, I, I think I remember why the colors are wrong. Um, and I'm a complete moron. And you're gonna, you're gonna obviously witness that over and over and over again throughout this series. Um, in this Python script, I had to rotate the background tiles from rows to columns. I had to do the top section from rows to columns. There's a freaking right there in the code. It tells me I've I've set it up to do attributes. And I didn't think, hmm, perhaps I should flip the attributes. Because, I mean, these colors, if you think of this rotated 90 degrees, they're straight lines, kind of. Like, it should have alerted me, hey, idiot, maybe you should rotate these colors. Uh, so let's try that. Uh, world 5 boss dot attribute. World 5 boss new dot attribute Let's see what happens and we'll go dropbox onyx backgrounds no name yeah name tables and we'll do date modify to make that easy boss 5 world 5 boss that attribute goes to pre-processed. World 5 boss new gets renamed to boss. All right, let's try that. And eventually I will get up the emulator. We will reload. Okay. We're where we wanted to be before now. So the colors are, well, the attributes are correct, but the palette is not. Obviously, um, you know, it uses some red here. Red, gray, green. So it must be using the same palette as um, these pendants up here. Um, so let's check palette. Palette viewer. And yeah, you'll see right here, no, that actually looks, does that look right? Five, six, seven, two, what? Oh wait, that was, <laughs> color 2D, 16. 2a. I was reading the index as if I was reading the values. All right, 2d, 16, 2a. 2d, 16, 2a. That's correct. All right, so let's make sure. Man, that's so weird. Where is the background palette? All right, so we can do this. We'll set the attribute grid to check the attribute. So this is three, three. So this whole square is using palette three. Oh, this one. Okay, 2D 1610. All right, yes. So palette three is different than this palette three. So we need to find where it's setting up the palette for the boss fight. Uh, world four pal. Is there a pointer table for the boss palette? Let's try to see. Do I have any boss palettes anywhere? Okay. 
apparently not. So how is it setting up? I feel like the palette has to change at the boss fight for some of the other bosses. Oh, here we go. Level 5 boss pal. Is that back? Okay, gotcha. So this is background palette. Where's that sprite palette? So 82736. Yeah, so why do I have the wrong boss palette? Let's do this. We'll save this palette. World 5 boss dot pal. See how that looks. Oh yeah! Alright. Holy cow. Let's compare. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Alright, so that doesn't solve the stack going crazy. But at least we have the correct background. So that is a win. Alright, so typically when the stack goes crazy for me, I start commenting out routines until it stops going crazy. And then I can narrow down which routine is causing it to go crazy. So let's see here. I'm in the NMI section for the level game the level game state, which is the game state that I have for running levels. So let's for the hell of it comment all this crap out. So it's just going to go straight to NMI done. It never gets down here. It's just going to go straight to NMI done, so there is no NMI routines running during this. Just to see if the stack still goes crazy. Oh, it's not even doing the fade out into the boss fight now. Which routine handles that? Check boss fade out. So let's just keep commenting out up until then. And then we'll keep commenting until there's an NMI done. Oh yeah, all right, so now we have check boss fade out all the way down to NMI done. Apparently I need not end in there. Beautiful. The stack is still going crazy. be a, a normal game engine routine? Very interesting. Me fighting the stack, I feel like, is my entire NES dev career. Nats flying around my house. Okay. Well, I guess we could try commenting on all this crap. 
just get to the game engine done. Let's see what happens. could be causing it to do this. So the engine level is going straight to game engine done. So there's no routines running there. anything to do with the pallet because the pallet's loading correctly and in my pointer game state it's not level four we go to regular it's none of those oh it is Wait for sprite zero. Oh, is, <coughs> is sprite zero, I never checked if the sprite zero sprite is in the correct spot for the new CHR that I loaded for the boss fight sprites. So what am I using for sprite zero right now? Let's go to the 600 table. So it's looking for tile 83. Tile 83. So let's load tile 83 for the sprite. Aha! There is no sprite in 83. It's just completely blank. So let's open, can I open up a second one of these? Whoa, we are going crazy. All right, NES screen tool. We're gonna open up another sprite table. Well, let's just go open CHR so we're confident it's exactly the same graphics. Let's just do world four boss, or world five. Oh, that's background stuff. Sprite three. Okay, so it does have a pixel right there. So can we copy, well, I guess we can just Remember, it's the top row, third from the right. All right. Uh, we can save this CHR file. World 5 boss sprites. All right. If there is a god... We will not go crazy. Oh yeah! And there's the test test that I wrote earlier to try to see if it was the lack of dialogue that was um, preventing it from loading. All right, man, we're, we're moving now. We're moving. All right, so we need to, John gave us some dialogue to have it say when this boss fights. Oh, there's some wonkiness going on up here. So 
I wonder if the sprite zero is in a bad spot. All right, well, we'll worry about that in a second. Let's go to source images. There's some stuff John has me have him saying. That's not it. Uh -huh. Come to me, Patty Slinger. All right, come to me, comma, Patty Slinger. And I think he fades in after this. We'll worry about that later. All right, so come space to me. Which tile is comma? 65, maybe? And then space patty slinger. Period. Maybe? Let's see what that looks like. Alright, so it doesn't fit. We would need three more spaces to get it to fit on a single line. So if we changed it to like, come here, Patty Slinger, that only gives us one. So we're gonna have to essentially push Slinger to the next line. So five more spaces. And I have, I have it set up to where my routine can look at this as if it's ASCII characters, but I never have a blank tile in the correct spot that an ASCII blank would be. So I have to use strange numbers and you know strange hex values between words just to make it work. But it's stupid, but it works. Um, so that will. not go to the next line. I did clear it though. So real quick, let's check what value sprite zero is on the screen as it's loading. Eleven AE. Still 11 AE. Why would it glitch out? Let's hmm. That's frustrating. I wonder why it's doing this. I feel like it's something to do with the sprite zero positioning, but I don't know why it would be different. Because if it's in the same exact spot the rest of the game, why would it suddenly glitch here on this screen? But that's exactly what this sort of tearing looks like. It looks like sprite zero tearing. Because, um, I mean, up till the middle part of this um, pendant, it looks like it's correct. But right here is where it starts tearing. It's like pushing everything right, like 16, ti or 16 pixels or something. So I'm curious. Yeah, and that's right where sprite zero is when I change the palette of this address. 
which is the which palette Sprite Zero is using. Um, it is right in that spot. There's my clock that you have to hear way too often. Um, it's interesting. I don't know why it would do that. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. At least it's it's loading. We'll get to the part where we can like run around and make sure that everything's kind of working, and then we'll worry about that. So it's loading the first sentence. It's doing away with the second sentence. It's not loading the third sentence. So toggle a to toggle dialog a. Somewhere there's a routine that tells me how many lines of dialog to allow. Is this for the boss screen talk happening? Not level one. Not level three. That's for level four. So I think that's the beginning of the level dialogue toggle stuff. Clear talking row level. Boss screen. Bosses. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, because there's nothing right here for level five. So let's do... It's level four. If not, go to end. We'll see if end works this time. And dialog count two. If it's not good, regular. All right, let's see what that does. Up. Oh, gotta cheat with N2. N2. And two. All right, nope. Regular is out of range. Right here. So I could just have it go here. Skip to regular. And instead of going to regular, we will go to skip to regular, and then it will jump to regular. <laughs> All right, Let's see what this does. And go there. Come to me, Patty. Slinger. Garbage. So we got to add some blanks, obviously, because our data ends with this period here. So then it's just trying to read the next data in my code as if it's text, but it's not. It's just some random routine after that, so we'll go to Slinger. We'll add some just random blank spaces. Let's see if that's enough. Come to me, Patty. Slinger. Need more. More spaces. Come to me, Patty. Slinger. <laughs> All right, so. Not sure what. Oh, yeah, it's not reloading the palette. All right, so. Uh, where was that? Toggle dialog A. It's right above here. So, dialog count one. Come to me, Patty.
Why are you gonna do that? Game. Come to me, Patty. A. Can't tell if that is garbage or if that's dust on my monitor. Tile. That is garbage. So it's zero 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 three C O D. Man. Just adding adding blanks. Come to me, Patty. Slinger. All right, so that is the correct amount, but then it's like ignoring my collision or something. Why is it ignoring my collision? So it's probably the ground on the boss screen is probably different tiles than the ground on this screen, so I need to add the tiles of the boss screen to the allowable standable tiles for the level. Let's see. World 5 boss. Tiles COC1. Repeated. COC1. Um, fall collision. Compare to background three. Check for fall stop. There we go. Collide tiles pointer. All right, so we'll add C O C one, right? Yeah, and then we'll add two more values to this because this is how many tiles for the level it has to look at. All right. Load. Come to me, Patty. Slinger. It didn't kill me. An... Oh, and I can move. Ha <laughs> ha! It's still doing weird sprite zero things. All right, so let's start at the beginning of the level. This is just random enemies, it's not the enemies that are going to be there. All right, no, no, no Sprite Zero tearing here. I just want to kind of load from the level into the boss screen just to kind of see if it's doing the same thing. that sprite zero tearing is kind of weirding me out. Let's confirm while we're just chilling. 11 AE. Okay, so right here it's at the bottom of the pendant. The bottom pixel of the pendant, kind of like Mario. Mario does it at the bottom of the coin. So I put it at the bottom of the pendant. Why is it not showing at the correct location at the boss screen? 11 AE. Eleven AE. It's still eleven AE. The 
but it's up there. Very confused. Let's open up. Open CHR. World 5. Nope. Sprites, not background. Sprites 1. Now that's in a different spot. Do I have the sprite zero sprite in different spots? Let's see what happens when I stick it down here. Third from the bottom, third from the right. On boss five, world five boss sprites. 83. Take that one and move it. We'll resave. We'll five boss sprites. We'll recompile. We'll load the game. Now it looks perfect. All right. So we have the boss loading, correct colors, Sprite Zero tearing is gone, it still shows our name on the screen for some reason. Why would that be? Alright, um, dialogue a toggle. Above that. I could have sworn the routine was right above dialogue A. Guess not. It's above toggle dialogue A, not dialogue A. Who names routines so similarly? I'm a moron. All right. Dialogue. Okay, so it's doing that. Intro text done. It's setting that. What erases? Erase actor name. So it's when erase text gets set to two. When it gets set to two. So it gets set to two. There. That's it. Get set there. Toggle dialogue A in level. Level three. Not doll intro. Boss screen. Bosses. Level zero, which is level one. Level two, level three, here we go. Not level four boss. Level pointer. Level five. It's not, go to end. And dialog count goes to two. If not, go to end. And then we'll increment the boss phase. Let's not do that yet, though. But let's put my name here just so I can search and find this location in this mess of code. 
I will have to go digging. Alright, there's no dolls in this one. Alright. There's never... There's always an end. We will fill this code with N2. Alright. And let's see if this gets rid of the Onyx name at the bottom of the screen. Come to me. Patty Slinger. No. Dialogue count. Dialogue count. That's DC in the zero page. DC. It's getting reset to zero. Getting set to not dull intro. It's looking for the A button. It's incrementing dialogue count. Boss screen. We are on the boss screen. Level pointer. Not level one boss. Not level two boss. Not level three boss. Not level four boss. Dialogue count. Oh, I'm not telling it to do anything. We gotta jump to finish. All right. All right, now it's jumping to finish. Cause that's where it actually resets it. Come to me, Patty, Slinger. Ha ha! All right, what is it doing? There's some collision happening up there. Wonder what collision it's looking at. Oh, I wonder if he just happens to be using tiles. I kind of want to. Wonder why John is using numbers here instead of just zeros. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if, let me check the collision. Seven ninety eight ninety six. So is it this tile that I'm colliding with that it's making me stand? Yep. <laughs> so that one tile just happens to be using um, the same tile number as one of the ground pieces during the level. So I need to go into Hex Fiend now. And we're going to change that to a zero. So that's level five boss, or world five boss dot name table. And what tile, what tile is that? So 96 through 99. Can I find that? Ninety-six. Trying to wrap my head around this. So how many? 
It still goes 32 across. Okay. Yes, here we go. All right. Change those to zeros. And it automatically made me fall, which is hilarious. Come to me, Patty Slinger. All right. Okay. So I think there was something about his eyes moving. Where is... Red hand up. Eyes follow and blink. Eyes follow and blink. So... Are some of these tiles his eye in a different location? So right now it's right on the edge. With the horn kind of on the left side of the tile. So I assume It's hard for me to really know. Well, let's just um let's just randomly code some tile replacement using some of these tiles up here just to kind of see what it looks like. We can see if we can deduce it. So, level NMI Let's do final boss eye movement. And that's going to bank switch one, so let's just try banks two and three. Wonder how much space I have here. And bank two. Not a ton, but bank three has some. So let's move to bank three. All right, so let's just boss I one, boss I two, boss I three. So I'm just gonna um, make like a tile map of just tile numbers, and then I'll do just like a random timer that tries to like shift between the tile numbers just to kind of see if we can get some animation going. So the correct eye, oh shit, the correct eye is 46, 47, 48, and 49. 46, 47, 48, 49. I assume I assume it's every four. So let's do one through four. And then let's do, yeah, just keep going. Five, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C. 
All right, so that is, oh, it looks like his mouth opens too. Oh man, that's gonna be cool. All right, so we have all the I tiles written. So now we just need to use a generic timer. Am I using bat timer? I don't think I'm using any timers yet, but let's bat timer. Four, five, six, seven, 28 and 29 in the stack. Six, seven. All right. Yeah, let's just increment bat timer. And when bat timer is less than eight, we'll go to the first frame. And it's less than 10. And these are hex numbers. I'm sure a lot of you people know that they're hex numbers, but hex values, you know, 10 in hex is 16. So it looks like 10 is just barely more than 8, but it's actually double, because you have to go 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then 10. So we'll do that, and then we'll go 18 to the third frame, and then 20, we'll go to the fourth frame, and then 28, we'll reset the timer. All right. So we're replacing which tiles? Twenty one six E twenty one six E twenty one six E and then boss I one X and then we're going to make this a loop. X and when X has done all four tiles. All right. We'll do this for all four I, four, four frames. Two. Two. Three. Four, and then we're gonna set the timer here. Does that work? It does. Let's see if it actually animates. No. Increment bat timer. When bat timer is less than eight, go to one. Boss I. Go back to loop. Go to two. This looks right. Is bat timer moving? Where is bat timer? Five, six, seven, eight. It's twenty-eight in the stack page. It is not moving. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's still at three. Why would bat timer not move? Final boss eye movement. Final boss eye movement. Intro text done. If it's not zero, proceed with level. Maybe not level one. Well, we have something happening here. So it's probably, 
final boss eye movement. Ah. I only have to set the location of the tile I'm replacing once, otherwise it's just overriding the same tile four times. Because it knows, basically this is the address of the tile that I'm starting to update. Every time I store to 2007 after that, it knows to increment by one. So right the way it was, it was doing this same address. It was replacing that tile four times. So let's see how this looks. All right. We have movement. All right, let's slow this timer way down just so I can kind of make sense of what's happening. So we'll do like 20, 40, 60, 80, A0. All right, so it is blinking left and right. All right, so we can make it follow us by just checking the X coordinate of like the middle of him and then compare it to where we are. And if we're on one side of him, look at us that way. If we're on the other side of him, look at us that way. If we're under him, maybe go to the middle one and then just randomly have a blink timer to where, you know, every 80 frames or something, it blinks for a second. Let's just do like a generic version of that. And we'll, um, we'll just see how it looks and we can tweak it. So, do we know which one is left? Go to the bat timer here and slow things way down. So zero to twenty is straight, and then twenty. All right, so this is boss I straight. Boss I blink. And then right. And then left. Boss I right. Boss I left. Okay. So let's delete most of this. All right, so if the boss doesn't move, his face will always be in the middle, right? So let's do sprite bank compared to 80. I think 80 is the middle of the screen. If it's less than that, look left. No, because we want to have them look straight if we're beneath them. So let's. All right, what is my location if I'm. Let's just say like right here. We'll already have that open. Six B. Say like sixty eight. If it's 
it's less than 68, we'll look left. That's like right there. So then we'll do 88. If it's greater than that, we'll look right. And now, if we're between that, we will look straight. Look straight. Look straight. Straight. All right, so we actually can kind of just set this same location for every frame. And we can reset this X for every frame. And this is boss I straight. Yep. And look left. Left loop. Boss I left, left loop, and then actually we can just use that. Look left, look right. All right, let's see. Look left, look right, look left, look right. Right, left. Oh. Right, left, look right. Much better. Do we work? Oh. All right, so it is tracking us. Oh, that's fucking creepy. All right, so we need to add some blinking. So we'll do it at the beginning of the routine. So we'll increment bat timer and say bat timer. Let's just say if it's less than like FO. We'll continue, no blink, no blink. And if it's like F to resetting, we will blink, blink. Blink, blink, and we won't need to reset the timer because it will just sort of wrap itself back around. Is that enough blinking? And is he blinking long enough? It's not bad. Let's make sure we're only doing this for this level. Okay. 
So it is only doing this for the boss screen, so. Okay, so now we want to, let's see what he looks like with this mouth opening. How many tiles is that? One, two, three, four. All right. Ugh. This isn't really in a straight line, so we're going to have to do some tile mapping again. Final boss mouth movement. Final boss mouth movement. So let's use... I use two bytes for bat timer so let's use bat timer plus one ink bat timer plus one load bat timer plus one compare maybe i'm just going to sort of alternate right now to open and close just to kind of see what it looks like so one and then now So, mouth open chords. Or just mouth chords. Mouth chords. So it's four across. Twenty one. A E A E A F B O B one two three. It goes to four, which moves from the twenty one hundred to the 2200 address. So we can't use a single. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Let's try moving forward like this just to see what happens. C E T F D O. D1 Yeah F O O F and 10 All right so as long as I code for that, it should work. And then we'll do mouth open tiles. One C, one D, one E, one F. Two C, two D, two E, two F. actually using tiles there or is it black? Oh there is a pixel. I did not account for that. That one doesn't though. Four D and four E. Damn. Single fucking pixel. On both sides. So I'm going to have to change, damn, that's got to be E, 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 F, F, F1.
Figuring out how to code something is the freaking hardest part. All right, now we can only do 22. We'll specify 22 for the last two tiles. Mouth closed tiles. Sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine. Seventy six through seventy nine. Is eighty six actually anything? No. But if I'm replacing those with the mouth open, I may as well do it with the mouth closed. 86 through 89. So mouth closed. Closed loop. Mouth cords. Mouth. Closed tiles. I'm going to use X and Y for this loop because I assume they will be. There are different amounts of values in the tile map, so let's just see here. So that, we'll go to that, we'll increment X, we'll increment Y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 a b c compare x to c closed that will do 12 of the tiles but then we have two more Six mouth chords plus one two thousand six mouth closed tiles Y two thousand seven. Let's just increment X here. Here, come up Y. So Y is C, Y is E. Closed loop two. Maybe. No idea if that will work. And that's for mouth open. Open loop. Mouth open tiles. Get rid of 
like open loop. Open loop two. Open tiles. Open loop two. No errors. Let's see what happens. It works. <laughs> well, it surprises me because things that I code rarely work first try. Um, I assume maybe the fireballs will come out of his mouth. But that's a, that's a good place to stop, I think, <laughs> for the second video. We're making good progress. No stack errors. The eyes are moving. Blinking's working. And mouth is opening and closing. All right, that's a sol that's a solid day. <laughs> we will uh what can we do for next time? We'll get the hands on the screen uh as sprites. We'll have to add collision, you know, so I can stand on the hands. The hands will need to kind of go up and down. If they slam on the ground, they'll stun me. Fireballs, I assume, are coming out of his mouth. I'll have to double check what John um, says in his write-up. And we will, uh, we'll do, we'll make some more progress. Appreciate you uh, hanging out. Not nearly as many um, WTF moments this time. I'm WTFing that my code worked first pass. Um, but cool. All right. We will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.